All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So this is what I do to calculate our bills every two months. It's just pretty basic. It's our basic bills and nothing too crazy. We have paycheck number one, paycheck number two, and this is pay Michael's paychecks, the bills that we have to pay with those checks. And then you turn it over and you have my check, paycheck number one, paycheck number two. I'm sorry about that glare. And then the bills we have to pay with um, my check. Anyways, I so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make this a little finance tab that I'm doing for ourselves and that seems to be working for us and all I do is write things out and then I just erase them at the end of the month and then just use it again over the next month all right guys so if you guys want to know how I did this little tab just continue watching and you guys will find out it's super Here easy are the materials you will need first off the most important thing is something like this this is what I created so I have Michael's name right on top check number one check number two and the bills that need to come out of those paychecks and then I have also mine which has my name on it paycheck number one paycheck number two and the bills that need to come out of that you can also easily just do this in a piece of paper with a pen it would be exactly the same I just have a computer and I had a printer so this worked out for me you'll also need a sheet of paper whatever you want to use just something for the backdrop since we'll be taping this onto this You'll need the self-laminating sheets. I only used one, so technically you only use, need one of these, but they come in packages of five, so you have to buy a package. You do need a punch hole. You need either a pair of scissors or a cutting board. You also need double-sided tape or a tape roller, whichever works best for you, whatever you have at hand. Even regular tape will work and just now, fine. And these, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and... What you'll need to do is place it on your paper, whatever backdrop you want to use, just to make sure you do have enough space for it. So I have more than enough space for both of them, as you can see. So what I will do now is go ahead and cut the sheet. You can also just go ahead and tape it beforehand. That way you already have it in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut just a little extra space at the bottom. Just I'm going to go ahead and tape up these two sheets. Now you can definitely go ahead and decorate with some washi tape or anything like that, which I might actually go ahead and to the ends and leave the top as it is that way we can see a little bit of that floral print once we put the sheets in so first I'm gonna put on mine and then I will put Michaels so all you're gonna do is just lay it on top with some tape or glue whatever you have oh, this works but at the same time it doesn't and it makes me so upset when it doesn't work oh maybe I ran out of tape already did I oh, goodness gracious That's what it looks like. So now what we're going to do, we're going to place it in our um, laminating sheet. This is the self-laminating sheet like I mentioned from Dollar Tree. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it in here. Now we're going to make sure that we have more than enough room for everything to fit and make sure it's not wobbly because it does move. Now here is where you want to decide which one you want in the front, whether you want, you know, the spouse's paycheck or your paycheck or paycheck number one, paycheck number two, whatever way you decide to do something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put Michael's first since um, he is, his bill is the one that pays most of our, his paycheck is the one that pays most of our bills. So you just go ahead and take this off and make sure you're really careful just because this film can actually go um, move your paper and then you're also going to need some kind of car just to swipe off all the air bubbles I'm gonna go ahead and use my ruler for that so yeah let's go ahead and get started make sure you also leave enough room for your holes since you will be punch holing some holes in there so I'm just gonna start it right here
much as I could and this is what turns out. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut it up and make sure not to cut too close to the paper just because the air bubbles might open and then it's going to end up ruining your hard work. So let's go ahead and do that. this side since this is where the punch holes are gonna go you want to make sure to leave even more room just because that's where your punch holes are gonna go and you want to make sure you have enough space to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and leave a pretty big chunk so I just cut up just a tiny little piece so you want to go ahead and make sure all your sides are nice and straight nothing's crooked nothing's out of space out of um, center so before I put the punch holes in, I'm going to go into my happy planner and kind of decide where I want this to be. I think I want it to be at the bottom just because your holes would be different wherever you put them. If you put it on top, it'd be a little bit different. In the middle, it'd be different. And at the bottom, it would be different. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put them right here. So I'm going to go ahead and dot where I want to have them. And now let's punch away. Now my punch hole isn't that great, so that's why it's hard for me. I definitely need to invest in a new punch hole. This one is super hard. Sometimes I need to call Michael over to like do it for me because it gets so hard. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. And what you want to do is uh, cut up a pretty big chunk. Since the Happy Planner um, clips are pretty thick, you want to make sure they fit. I sometimes cut them up and then I have to go back and cut a little bit thicker of a part just because they're too thin. So this is what they look like and you just kind of try and punch them in, see if it works. Oh, mine worked perfectly actually. And this is what it looks like. So you have your little planner. And what's so cool about this is that every month you can go in, you can write out your amount, amounts, wipe it off, and then start again for next month. I love this idea. Let me know down below if you guys plan on doing something like this or something similar, or if you guys have another way of calculating some of your bills. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.